Hi there, this is Fixed It. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a song using Mac GarageBand and the iPad GarageBand uh, using samples on the Mac and on the iPad and with my converter converting from the Mac to the iPad. First create your project and GarageBand on the Mac. In this case I'm selecting a guitar project. I've pasted my guitar sample into the guitar track. Now you'll need to save the song using Save As and make sure you click the Archive Project and then hit Save. I've saved my file to the Fixed It Demo Copy folder. And now I run the Fixed It Mac to iPad File Converter. When prompted to choose a file, I select the sweet home beats underscore arc file I created. I've then selected the iPad 3 from the three choices. The converter's now converted the file and added iPad underscore export on the end of the file name. I then select iTunes, select apps, select file sharing, select add and then add the file to the garage band list. On the iPad I click the plus top left, select iTunes and add the song from the iTunes list. I can now play the song on the iPad and add an additional track. Okay, now we know it's working, we go to My Songs, saves the song, we select the song, we then choose the export, select iTunes, select GarageBand, and then I'm prompted to replace the song, and in this case I'll replace it and then we hit done. Back in iTunes I save it to my original folder and now I can open and play the song in GarageBand. Having added a new track to the song, I can save as clicking the archive project as before. Once it's saved in the appropriate folder, I run the converter. The converter converts the song and then it's ready to go to iTunes. I open iTunes and add the file in the same way. Once on the iPad, I can run it, add an extra couple of tracks and send it back to iTunes. Okay, now we know it's working, we go to My Songs, saves the song, we select the song, we then choose the export, select iTunes, select GarageBand, 
and then I'm prompted to replace the song and in this case I'll replace it and then we hit done ok back in the Mac we can now play it So let's add one more track to wrap it up. So with the fixed it, Mac to iPad garage brand converter. You can work between the two platforms with the minimum of fuss. Mm -hmm. 